Hello, my name is Nikolai Steiner. I'm an architect with a PhD in urban design and I'm an associate professor. Welcome to this introduction to critical thinking. Critical thinking is at the heart of everything we do in academia. Uh, it's about taking in uh, knowledge, information uh, and uh, impressions and to reflect over them in order to be able to write our reflections. So uh, this is a process which en en encompasses a number of uh, components, which this course is all about. First, there is literature searching. In order to be able to even take information and knowledge in, we need to know what our subject is and in which texts we might possibly uh, retrieve uh, this knowledge. So we need to know how to define our topic and how to look for literature uh, about this topic. On a practical level, of course, it's also about being able to actually retrieve that particular literature, uh, whether in the form of uh, digital uh, books and, and, and uh, online papers, which we can uh, retrieve digitally, or whether uh, in printed form, like the books behind me, which we will have to retrieve uh, physically from, 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 uh, from a library. Second, it's about taking notes. If you read a book, if you attend a lecture, or if you take in inputs in any form without taking notes, you cannot uh, retain uh, the impressions that you have. And you will forget and you will not be able to, to use it in your critical thinking process. So obviously taking notes is very central to the process of critical thinking. So that's another component in this course, how to take good notes, the right notes uh, and different types of notes. And finally, when we write, many people may think that writing is simply just outputting whatever we took in and took down in our notes, but actually the writing process itself is also a very important part of the critical thinking process. Many understandings do not come to us until we start writing. So therefore, the writing process is an integrated process, uh, part of critical thinking. So how do we write? How do we begin writing? How do we structure our writing? And how do we know when the writing is coming to a close? So that's the third component. And these three, three elements are explained uh, uh, in three different videos, which form part of this course. Uh, the videos uh, are not serial in the sense that first we do the literature search, then we do the note taking, and then we do the writing. Most of the time, these are iterative processes. We may start looking for literature, of course, otherwise we have nothing to read and take notes about. But uh, it's not so that we finally, we simply stop uh, reading and then we start sorting our notes and then we start writing. We may start writing at an early point, even before we have a full overview uh, of, of the subject matter, because as I said, the writing process is also part of the critical thinking process. So even if they're presented in this course in a linear fashion, you may look, uh, view one video after the other. Really, when you practice it yourself, you will find that it's an integrated process. Enjoy.